<laughs> Shannon, we need you to pep it up. <laughs> We're genuine and authentic, so this is what you're getting on there a lazy go. Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. I've got my tea. My tea, my little <sighs> digestion tea for mm -hmm. gut health, because you know, they uh, say that it's all about I, the gut I health. I do need that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so we're, Hi, we're sort of, we're a little bit out of a funk, um, but, you know, I know a lot of you are with the holidays coming mm -hmm. up, and not necessarily a funk, but you just, you know, for me, it's this feeling of, um, we talked about this earlier, this feeling of attachment, like I attach always to the outcome, and mm -hmm. I think everything's going to be perfect and amazing and wonderful, and then, you know, you get through the, the holiday, and you're like, oh. You just want to like sleep for days because yeah, <laughs> yeah. you feel overwhelmed or whatever it is. Hi, Donna. <laughs> hey, Lori. Because um, you put a lot of pressure on yourself. You put exactly. a lot of pressure to make everything perfect mm -hmm. and then you cannot please everyone all of the time, no. right? And you're reminded of that every holiday. Yeah. yeah. So that's coming up. But, you know, just hey, most Karen. recently. Hi, Karen. Um, you know, I'm a little bit in a weird spot today because... Um, mm -hmm. The, my ex-husband had to put down our longtime dog, Maggie, uh, this morning. So that was really hard. You know, it was, I, it was really hard on my daughter. She's so attached to animals. And so, um, so that, it was been, it's been an emotional weekend, <laughs> you That's know? That's so hard. Yeah. That's so hard. And I've been, my dad had surgery on Tuesday. Yeah. So it's like these big events in our life like yeah. that I can't even imagine 14 years that your daughter's 13 I know yeah. so she's only known that dog she's only her known whole that dog. life yeah. so that's probably her first major loss mm -hmm. so that's huge yeah. we felt very blessed this week in my family that my dad was okay but it was a four-hour surgery and by hour four my mom was coming like, yeah. out of her flesh. Right, because you like, you know, yeah. all you can do is wait. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I remember when Trace was in surgery, same thing. Yeah. They told us it was going to be an hour. You know, two hours later, we're like, what is going oh, on? Oh, it's so you know? disturbing. Yeah. Well, and her doctor, to make matters worse, was kind of similar to Trace because with you guys, you didn't really know anything. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, I'll do our best. It's an hour surgery. In our case, he was like, I don't know what I'm looking oh. at. I don't know what I'm going to have to do. And mm -hmm. my dad could have had his leg amputated. So mm -hmm. four hours in, my mom's like, yep, his legs are gone. Like yeah. she just, you know, she just felt awful. My dad had some blocked arteries and um, the arteries in his legs. And he's had bypass surgery before. So this was a fourth, third or fourth bypass surgery. Wow. Um, but it, it's scary. Yeah. The unknown is but so he, scary. He is okay. doing well, um, yeah. but he's been in there all week. He's going stir crazy. Mm -hmm. And I just, I feel so bad. I, I know, know he's just climbing the walls. <laughs> right. I mean, who wants to hang out in the hospital? I know. Even his family were like, we love you. Can we drop something off? Like, it's awful, <laughs> you know? Right. You go, we, we sat Friday right. night and chatted. Can I bring you like, some coloring books? Dad? Oh my gosh, <laughs> right. you know, it's just awful. So yes. Uh, hi, Greg. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's, you know, it's one of those, weeks just like I'm sure next week will be with you handling the kids mm -hmm. crying episodes it's like this week's like running back and forth to the hospital yeah. and trying to make sure he's okay and then also balance work and, and, it's and Thanksgiving <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that's Always. what I wanted to talk about with 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 um the holidays I know you know for so many people this I you know I do love Thanksgiving and I love it because you know it just kind of brings everyone together and um, it's also sort of the kickoff for Christmas for me. Mm -hmm. I love to start decorating around. Hi, Dan. Mm -hmm. I love to start decorating around around Thanksgiving for Christmas. So it is such a fun and a, and a gathering and then sort of a bringing everyone together holiday. Mm -hmm. But for you, you kind of have a different take on it, do you? Well, no. You know what? I just was going to say thank you for tool number one for today's episode, <laughs> which is remember what is important yeah because to be honest when my dad went in the hospital my mom always does Thanksgiving mm -hmm. every year I'm an only child and like the joke is like ah I got to buy another year I'm not learning to cook a turkey you know <laughs> and, um, I've yeah. never learned by the uh, way and I never <laughs> plan on it because let me tell you I'm gonna do a little pitch here and you guys can send me some money but Whole Foods does a whole thing right I just ordered mine from um, not Whole Foods from Honey Baked Ham. Oh, I ordered the ham and the turkey, and I, I did it last year, and I'm telling you, the turkey is so moist so and delicious, delicious and amazing. Yes. Well, now, it's not Whole Foods. It's um, Joseph's Market. Oh, okay. Little pitch for Gardens. Joseph's. Yeah. They do a turkey, three sides, 
two pies, a salad, cranberry, stuffing, oh. gravy, all of it, $160. Wow. And I heard it is delicious, delicious. to die for. Yeah. So what the first tool is, remember what the holiday is about. Don't make it about how clean the house is and how yes. decorative and how pretty everything is. And do you have the right plan on the right table? And does the floor not have dog hair on it? And <laughs> right. that the potatoes are fluffy right. because you know what? <laughs> That's what we got this year is like, mm -hmm. we just want to be together. Right. And we're, if we have to order it and pick it up, yeah. who, who cares? cares? We're together. If dad's home, healthy. Right. That's all we need. So right. just focus on for you what it's about. If it's yeah. about decorating and rain in the holidays, about people and family. I know for a lot focus. of us, especially, you know, women that are sort of the, the, the matriarch of the mm -hmm. family, you know, they've always done the perfect Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and the house has always looked perfectly but you know, if, if you have stuff, other stuff going on in your life, mm -hmm. really no one cares, you no, know, no, no one, one cares. cares. And I think that that's, yeah, that is, that is a really good tool. Mm -mm. What about, um, cause I know a lot of people have family coming in. I have my mom, she's coming mm -hmm. in with her husband, Jimmy, um, which my mom doesn't bring any emotional stuff other than just being very helpful. And she's like the perfect mom. But what about if you have family coming in town that isn't perfect. I was actually, it's funny because I had an appointment this week. I'm not going to give her away because, and I'm not going to say what, what she does, but she said that she has just completely stopped going to her family, um, Thanksgiving because of this one family member that just makes it miserable for everyone. Wow. And so she has taken herself out of that situation, which wow. I thought was really brave and sort of like setting Wonderful. very clear boundaries about what you're going to allow in in your life and what you're not yeah I mean I love that I think that this is a time that the toxins are high mm -hmm. and those toxic people that you kind of your whole life don't have to see but then you have to see them mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving or Christmas so I'm like kind of in awe but really proud of this person right. for saying you know what this is my holiday too mm -hmm. and I'm going to do what brings me joy and celebration and I'm going to leave the toxic people out of it mm -hmm. And that's pretty powerful. And I'm imagining, I'm thinking of that family, like maybe over time they will ask that toxic person to, to not leave. be there <laughs> because right. maybe people will start fading away in this situation. Right. But yeah. Um, so what was your question? Just like, you know, how do you, how do you approach people um, coming over or are you season? going to, um, to a Thanksgiving meal when it's not all copacetic? Oh. You know, because I feel like at this point in my life, I only have the copacetic people around me, <laughs> but, but a lot of times too. you can't, you can't do that. You know? Yeah. I think goal number one, hi Susan, hi Nancy. <laughs> I think goal number one is really trying to get the toxic people out of your life. Like mm -hmm. this woman did. That's really important. Number one. And number two, I always use this. I feel like this is going to be like, there's going to be some meme making fun of me going, you need boundaries. <laughs> But I think at the end of the day... Oh my God, I am uh, creating that meme, by the boundaries, way. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Um, because I think, like, for example, I think we said this even last year because it's been such a toxic environment with politics. Politically, yeah. Right? And so there are certain rules that everybody says, like, we don't talk about religion or politics. Mm -hmm. So if you're hosting, I do think it's important to, when you hear a little scuffle over here yeah. about make America great or this Make person, a joke about it. Or something, yeah. you know, and you go, hey guys, the holidays are about love and right. celebration and tolerance. We're actually not going to talk about politics tonight. We're going to make it safe for everybody to be here, whether you're Trump, whether you're a Democrat, no matter what you support, we love you. Right. And we're not going to talk about that. And we don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable or alienated and just set that as a boundary. Or even send a text beforehand. <laughs> yes. If you know some people are yeah. very passionate on yeah. either side, yeah. just send a text and say, we're yeah. not talking about this. Yep. And if I hear you, I'll kick you out. Yeah. <laughs> Right? As you can see, Suzanne's been hanging around me a little too long, but she's Suzanne gotten really good with her boundaries. <laughs> yes. Right. No, I think that that's important because, yeah. so that's, that would be the answer is like, think about what the toxic person typically does or think about what the toxins usually bring and see if you can, you know, head it off at the chase. Yeah. See if you can sit down with that person before. 
you know, there's always the person that drinks too much or there's always, yeah. can you say, hey, you know, we loved having you last year, but after the fourth glass of wine, it got a little crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I would really appreciate if you could be mindful that, mm -hmm. you know, after four glasses, you start screaming about politics and right. it gets kind of uncomfortable for us. Right. You know, to again, setting those requests. Right. You know, some people don't ever look at themselves. Some people don't yeah. want to hear that. But, and maybe they won't come after they hear that because they're yeah. so offended but i do think it's important for you to say yeah. especially if there's one person that's trashing the whole day yeah you know i mean i'll give a shout out to my cousin who i adore and the last thanksgiving we had which was i think he's five years sober mm -hmm. um the last thanksgiving before he got sober i'm pretty sure his head was in his plate like i think i'm pretty sure God. like it was just one of those <laughs> You know what I mean? And I was and, like, and was, okay. that a, was that a wake up call? Or yeah. No? Okay. And, I, and, and I, and I, I remember nobody had said anything up to that point and I adore, like my cousin is a rock star. He really is. And him and his, um, the mother of his child, um, they both got sober within 24 hours of each other, which is amazing. Wow. Like they really were supportive to each other. They're really good friends right at this point and mm -hmm. they both have great sobriety. But it had gotten bad, and we as a family had just kind of like, oh, it's only pot, it's only this, it's only yeah. that. And then it got to the point where when I saw that, I was like, okay, that is the last holiday where I'm going to worry that you run over somebody when you leave. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I couldn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. And he hadn't been like that before. It was just kind of, that was, was it building. for us. It was yeah. building. And I had set aside that I was going to have to sit down mm -hmm. before the next time we all got together and mm -hmm. say, this is unacceptable, like, and do an intervention and try to help and whatever. And praise God, he, we had that conversation, only it was him saying, I need help. Yeah. And he's sober now and it's amazing. But we do, we all have that person who drinks a little too much yeah. or has a problem, you know, and so setting those boundaries, because mm -hmm. I would not have let my kids do another round of that. Yeah. I just would not have done that. And I said that to my mom that day. I was like, that's the last time we do a holiday with yeah. someone's, you know, like head in their plate type thing. Yeah, I mean, but you know, the interesting thing is I feel like, you know, when it gets to that point is when you can have that conversation as someone who maybe isn't as close to that person as someone else. Right. But d I mean, does, it's, you know, I, we kind of veered on this, on this topic, but I do think it's an important topic because a lot of people don't feel comfortable saying to, you know, maybe a cousin or a family member, an aunt or an uncle, hey, you know, can you watch your drinking? Well, you know what? My statement wasn't to my cousin in that moment. It was to the host of the party, which was my mom. I will not bring my children here Around again yeah. if that is going on. I can sit them down. You can sit them down. We can sit them down. But I will not be back with my children right. in an environment like that. So, yeah, you can take it to the host and set that boundary of, you know, hey, if that person's going to be there and they're going to be in that capacity, mm -hmm. I don't think we can come and I'm so sorry. And then they have to make that decision. Right. You know? Yeah. And especially Definitely. if you're hosting, you should be having yeah. those conversations, right? Mm -hmm. What about um, <laughs> emotions? Hey, like, hi, guys. Hi, what about guys. emotions? Do you, I mean, how do you deal? Like, I'm a very emotional person. Yeah, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. That. I mean, how do you deal with that stuff around the holidays? Cause, okay, for instance, and I know we've talked about this before, but um, you know, like if you're going through a divorce, and oh. you know, yeah. or you've gone through a bad breakup, or you know, you're you're feeling you have kids, but usually, you know, maybe the kids are with someone else, or you don't yeah. feel like you have that core group that you yeah. used to. Yeah. You yeah. know, how do you deal with that kind of stuff? Ooh, so how, I mean, if you're asking good, how that's... do I deal with that kind of stuff, I mean, right. um, I think first things first, I think you have to feel this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and so one of the things that I think we have a tendency to do is we tend to be in denial and we tend to stuff our feelings mm -hmm. and then it comes rushing in when we're sitting there at mm -hmm. the dinner table. Right. So like, for example, there's a good chance I won't be with my children this year. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm divorced and my ex and we rotate and now mm -hmm. they're old enough. They do whatever they want basically. Right. So if I'm not with my kids this year, um, and there's feelings about that, I will try to identify that today, mm -hmm. tomorrow, try to be aware of what you're walking into. It's amazing how denial works. We yeah. just can glaze over right. and just like eat our feelings, drink our feelings, whatever it is. <laughs> right, right. And then we get to Thanksgiving. Drink our feelings. <laughs> right. And then we get to Thanksgiving right. we're in the bathroom crying, right. trying to hold it together. So yeah. one of the things is, you know, to do, they call it sometimes anticipatory grief, but to feel the sadness, mm -hmm. feel whatever, and then help yourself get through it. And thinking about, 
Now, what do I need to do mm -hmm. to take care of myself on Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. If I know my children aren't going to be there, do I need to pick out my favorite games now that I know will bring me joy? Mm -hmm. Do I need to invite certain people? Maybe I need to do two houses. Maybe I need to do my mom's house in the morning and then your house in the afternoon mm -hmm. so that I'm distracted from that right. environment. Because like, I think that is the thing that a lot of people yeah. don't. And I remember, you know, the, in the years after my divorce, this is a great topic. Thank you. Thank hey, you, Kristen. Kristen. Hi, Michaela. Um, you know, in the years right after my divorce, you know, that was really hard in that I, I had plans for Thanksgiving, but like at four o'clock in the afternoon, when I would go home from the Thanksgiving, it's like, Oh crap. I didn't plan from four until bedtime, yeah. you know? So yes, yeah, that's a really good point. Definitely. Know? I think the, the tool is asking yourself the question, what do I need to do to take care of myself? Because mm -hmm. that that's where the answers lie. Well, I'm gonna to go to so-and-so's till four. Great, what do I do at four? Mm -hmm. You know what, I'm gonna to go to a movie at four or I'm gonna to go to so-and-so's nearby in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I can have my glasses of wine, I can walk home, but they're gonna have their dinner at six and they're having their dinner at two, mm -hmm. so it works out. So really thinking about how to take care of yourself Letting yourself feel the feelings. Listen, it, folks, I have cried so much in the past six weeks. <laughs> I am owning stock in the Kleenex company, and I, you know, by now you will be very wealthy because we have to feel our feelings. It's like I tell people all the time when they walk into my office and they say, Well, I don't want to. I will pay now or pay later. You're not getting away with not crying, grieving, feeling. Right. You can stuff it as long as you like. It will catch you. It will catch you emotionally. Mm -hmm. It will catch you physically, mm -hmm. which is not, not my fun. favorite, right? Yeah. So just do the feelings, do the crying, and then on that day, do all the things you need to do to nurture yourself and take care of yourself and have yeah. things planned. Yeah, that's yeah. really important. I would think, you know, I would say that is the number one thing is planning. Like, mm -hmm. don't just expect to like go with the flow on oh. that day because everyone's gonna have plans. Yes. And so if you're feeling alone or lonely and just are gonna go with the flow, yeah. I would say that's probably not the best, it's a bad idea. <laughs> the best idea. You know what it reminds me of? Cause I'm a holiday birthday. My birthday is December 19th. Mm -hmm. And if you go with the flow on your birthday and you're a holiday baby, or you like assume like, oh, people will. Or will it just come out for me? Yeah, <laughs> like you're, you're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> So you need to plan, like, what do I want to do that's going to fill my soul? Maybe right. it's just inviting two or three people to a small lunch mm -hmm. that they can get to. But really think about it and plan it so that you don't set yourself up for this pain and sadness yeah. or whatever, letdown. Yeah, because I think a lot, what a lot of people do around uh, birthdays, holidays, mm -hmm. or whatever, they think things are going to come to them or that, oh, everyone's going to remember about your birthday that's yeah. two days before Christmas, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Not likely to happen. You got to figure that out. Yeah, you not likely to happen. That, right? not, yeah, so and you I, don't have to make this big extravagant plan. Just have an but idea. But what do you want? And right. I love that. I love that. I have some friends that are awesome that way where they're like, they just plan a trip to Miami for the day or they do, you know, mm -hmm. they get their friends that they love to be with and they set it up. Sometimes there's like this thing with codependency of like, well, I should... Wait, you should know what I need. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Nobody knows what you need. No, and if you right. do that, you're going to be very disappointed. Right. My mom did that one year. It was hysterical. She told everybody, don't do anything for my birthday. Nothing. Don't do one thing. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm not, you know, she was like on this rant. It was hysterical. Yeah. And we didn't. And she was upset. To this day, she's like, I will never do that again. <laughs> it's like, that was awful. Because we were trying to respect her boundaries. Right. She was all in everybody's yeah. face. I don't want anything. We're like, okay. okay. She didn't get one call, one gift, one nothing. And she was That's what she asked for. You told yeah. me not to call. You told me not to right. give you a gift. You told me, you know. Right. So we were trying to be respectful of her boundaries. And yeah. she got nothing. And she literally, she's like, I'll never do that again. Oh, Marianne says this will be my first Thanksgiving without my mom who passed January 2nd. Miss oh, her. I'm oh, so Marianne. sorry. So listen, the first of everything with loss is so painful yeah. because you have to understand your brain only remembers, like our brain thinks about the last holiday mm -hmm. and the last holiday she was with you. Yeah. So just know, one of the things I want you to remind yourself when you're going through this is it's not always going to feel like this. No, it won't. It gets easier. easier. It gets better. It I mean, Suzanne can attest to this better than anyone having yeah. gone through your losses, but like it does get easier. Just know the first of everything everything really sucks it really sucks it's really hard <laughs> so make a plan Marianne like yeah. you know go to a, I don't know what your situation is with your family but just you know make sure you're they're aware and keep yourself busy and you know I think it's important to remind people too like my girlfriend Tina lost her mom yeah. and every holiday was so painful for her and 
me as her friend and still having my mom, I kind of forget sure. that she doesn't have her mom sure. for this holiday. Or right. This is this was something that was really big for her. And right. so I think it's important that um, you tell people, Marianne, like this is the first holiday, out, holiday without mom. And so like I just need maybe a little extra attention or yeah. I just need you to be a extra little more hugs. gentle with yeah. me or extra hugs or whatever. Yes. Because I think people need to be reminded, like everyone wants to help. Yes. I think you just have to tell people what you need. What you need. And the same that goes along with your mom. We don't know. No. People yeah. don't know no. what you need and you know and some of us have never been there before so you won't mm -hmm. know until you tell us what you need so that's yeah. a really great point. You know it's interesting because um, uh, Sam Kerrigan who's Traffic Jam Sam at work she um, I had asked her to come to Thanksgiving this was months ago because they come her and her mom come every year right. um, and so um, and I had I was going to reach out to her. I just had, for you know, I hadn't done it yet. And she reached out. She's like, are we doing Thanksgiving again this year? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yes, yes, come over. So, like, don't be afraid to ask yes. people. I mean, people can always have an extra person or whatever. So, if you're yeah. feeling lonely or wanting to go somewhere, don't forget to ask. Okay, yeah. Kristen says, great ideas. We used to have such big holidays with lots of family. And now it's just a few people and several holidays are just with my husband and I. It can be a little lonely, so try and plan something fun when it's just the two of us. Yes, that is great. And the other thing too, Kristen, I know that we do. My mom is is from the Midwest, and so I think she's from the more the merrier state. Yeah. Like everybody is family, you know, just mm -hmm. come, come. Yeah. And so we've done that over the years. We've hosted that person that just lost their person, yeah. or you know, the neighbor that's alone or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you know, it can really it turns out really nice Fun. when you end up having three yeah. or four people that didn't have a place, and then it becomes a ritual, and yeah. it really does. This is our first year without one of my besties who is Canadian, so she's not going to Canada for Thanksgiving. <laughs> right. So she's been with us for 20 years. They're doing a cruise this year. We're mm -hmm. so sad to not be with her. Right. But it's turned into a 23-year thing. We've never missed Thanksgiving together, right. and it's really wonderful, and we're family at this point. Right. So do ask that person who has family out of state or whatever. Reach out. You'd mm -hmm. be surprised, and the next thing you know, you have a big you know, you have a big dinner yeah. table. And it's always interesting to get people together that normally don't get together mm -hmm. because I feel like it really brings a different element sometimes yeah. to you know, to your Thanksgiving or to your gathering, just to have different people that you don't normally, wouldn't normally meet, yeah. come together and, and have a meal together. Rachel says, I lost my baby sister almost 10 years ago. I have good years and bad years around the holidays. Oh, sorry, so Rachel. So hard, yeah. so hard. Marianne says thank you. Thank you, Marianne. Well, we know. Uh, well, we. I don't know. We both have our mothers still. Thank mm -hmm. goodness. But, um, but like I said, my close friend lost her mother, and you know, and and I remember one Christmas, Tina. Even what she did was, she's like, I can't do Christmas this year. I am going to rent a hotel on South Beach <laughs> yeah, and pretend, <laughs> and that it's pretend not. like it's not Christmas. Yeah. And so, you know, I said, well, you know, that's, that's one way to do it. I said, the other thing you could do is always like travel to a place where they don't celebrate Christmas, yeah, <laughs> you know, that's okay. or, or, you know, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving anywhere here, but America, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you can go, you know, yeah. you can go to wherever. Yeah. And, Canada does it a different day. Right. So you yeah. can go wherever and it won't be that holiday there. Hey, so. Gosh. Um, the other thing too, like, you know, our buddy Todd lost his mama last year, oh, this holiday time. So yeah. shout out to Todd. I need to reach out to you because it's literally this time of year. Yeah. And, um, her birthday was like December 3rd. And so I called him and I, I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm shopping. Cause this is like what we would have been doing. Or it was, you know, I think yeah. it was, her, I think it was her birthday, but he's like, this is what we would have been doing, you know? Yeah. And so I'm honoring her. So sometimes just stepping into the grief and right. honoring and doing the thing that you would have done with them and celebrating them and finding the sales or whatever those things are. I mean, that's brave. That's right. a guy. Guys are so brave. Yeah. You know? like, well, that, that's that a, would have been hard That is a me. brave thing for a guy to it's be shopping <laughs> around the holidays. Yeah. But he was brave to do that. But, you know, yeah. So stepping into, you know, either way, but just making a plan. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. And I'm sorry again, Rachel, for your sister. That's so hard. Yeah. Ashley says, yay. I'm so excited to you to have you Bye. two live. Yay. Hey, is yeah. that the Ashley we were talking about earlier? That's yes, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, we have some questions for we'll you. We'll be calling you. <laughs> That's right. It'll be Ashley that we're putting on our graphic design expert, my feel good bag partner, my best buddy for a long time. Um, so she's a graphic designer. So we've been talking about you today, Ashley. We'll be reaching out to you. Yeah, and just so you guys know, we um 
we actually are doing another big production of what your friends won't tell you. So we're kind of doing these in between, you know, the just the quick Facebook lives, but we're gonna be doing another big production in a couple of weeks. And this one, we're doing on location, so not in the living room, not in my living room, Yay. and not in Shannon's living room. Nope. I don't think we're gonna announce it yet until we have all the details nope. that into place, we have a date and all that, but we're gonna be live on location for the next um, What Your Friends Won't Tell You, so that'll be so exciting. But there's a little tease. Just there's a tease, I know, <laughs> I know. So anyone have any questions about how to deal with family, turkeys, emotions? <laughs> Yeah, we've already <laughs> told you, don't cook it. Call Joseph's. Right. I don't know what Definitely else to do for you. <laughs> oh, Lauren says, awesome, I want to go. Uh, Lauren, <laughs> you will be invited. You will be invited. Yes, we're, we're going to do it on a Saturday, right? Because you said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to do it. Yeah, I think a Saturday Saturday's be best great. for everyone. And everybody can come. Yeah, and everyone can come. Yes, my husband and I are both from the Midwest. Kristen says, we understand the inviting, inviting friends, friends to holidays. holidays. We have had friends... To many, many of, of our yeah. holiday celebrations, always invite. Yeah. I knew you were a Midwesterner, Kristen. You're sweet <laughs> like that. That's right. Lauren says, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, anything else that you... I'm just trying to think of any other... So, yeah. So, don't, don't sweat the small stuff on this, guys. Like, yeah. I know my mom was saying... All I have to do is clean the house. No, you don't, Mom. No, it's right, family. Right, no, you don't. Right. So don't get caught up in the technicalities. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you could knit a sweater from your bathroom floor, then you might want to wipe that down. Right. But <laughs> otherwise... <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> but otherwise, don't get clean crazy. Clean the toilets, okay? Yeah, yeah like, like the bare necessities. Get right. the cat hair off the counter. But otherwise, like... Don't kill yourself. Nobody cares. It's about family. It's about celebrating. It's about yeah. fun. Yeah. It's about connecting. Right. So don't don't get crazy. You know, it's so funny because this is. Just, I was just thinking of this as I was looking outside of my my door here because my mom. You know, we never had. You know, people get very. Um, intricate on the the uh, table oh, and yeah. the setting the and making sure it looks beautiful. And I yeah. remember my mom used to tell us when we were kids, we would just go out and clip like flowers or even just like um, pretty pretty bushes. Wow. And they make such pretty greenery and you just put them in a vase. And I'm telling you, voila. it is like voila. And it's cheap, mm -hmm. you know, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> and you would be surprised at how pretty like gr just greenery from your yard yeah. or a few flowers in your yard. Keep it simple. Yeah, keep it very simple. Suzanne's from Monticello, y'all. That's, right. so that's a Monticello <laughs> that's right. Thanksgiving. We used to, we used to take a cool, um, not acorns, uh, pine pine cones, because we had a pine tree in our mm -hmm. front yard. So we used to take the pine cones and gather them up and put them all together, and that would be like a centerpiece. In a bowl. A bunch of pine yeah. cones in a bowl. <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? <laughs> all right. You might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> if you put pine cones in a bowl as your Thanksgiving centerpiece. <laughs> My mom is going to be so offended right now. <laughs> She is going to defend that till the end. All right. I moved 12 hours away from the family. Drama. Nice, quiet holiday. Yeah. I just well done, simple. Rachel. That's good. Nice to meet you Friday, Suzanne. Oh, hey, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I emceed an event on Friday. Oh, very nice. So, yeah. At the, um, the, actually, the uh, w Woman Volunteer of the Year. Oh. Yeah. So, it was like 50 women that were um, nominated and then, or nominated. Nice. Yeah. And then, so, it was, it was a fun event. Thanks, awesome. Michelle. All right, guys. Well, I guess. So good luck. Yeah. Um, pace yourself. Don't exhaust yourself. Don't make your sick doing yourself sick doing the holidays. Mm. How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Right. Just break things into bite-sized pieces. Try not to think too much. Like even today about what you've got to do before Thursday. Thursday. If yeah. I think about everything, I have two birthdays on Thanksgiving in addition. So right. if I think about everything today that I have to get done by Thursday, it's too much. Yeah. Just think about today. It, what do I need? Need to do right now because don't let it rent space in your head if you're not right. doing it today you don't need to be thinking about it put it on a sticky note or a little list and let it go and maybe put monday tuesday wednesday bite-sized pieces and then stop thinking about it you'll right. exhaust yourself before you get there stephanie says just putting pine cones in a bowl now that's, <laughs> that's my neighbor that's wonderful. <laughs> She's That's... right across the street. I wonder if she's there right now. Are you there right now, Stephanie? Oh, God bless you, Stephanie. <laughs> Actually, Stephanie... We're cutting some greenery okay. when we get off, the, when we get off this. <laughs> we'll right. bring it over. So, and Stephanie is very involved. I don't want to give it away. But Stephanie is going to be very involved in our show in a couple of weeks. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so if you know Stephanie, you know what I'm talking about. See if you can guess <laughs> right. and let us know That's what right. you think we're doing. All right. And not you, Stephanie. That's cheating. <laughs> um, Michelle says, I use palm fronds and put them in a vase. Oh, love I love that. See? Yeah. 
Yeah, I see lots of ideas. We should have just done a, a live holiday um, yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Do next you week. realize who I am? <laughs> That's right. We need Stephanie for that. Yes. Stephanie is like the design, design. guru. Like yeah. she understands design and she has an eye for everything. She's amazing. So. Yeah, I'm the opposite of you. And Michelle says she loves Stephanie. So oh, then you know cool. where our show is going to be in a couple weeks. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> right. you just, you couldn't do it. You I know, I this know. Is, this is such okay, a Gemini okay, treat. Okay, I'll give it away. That is such a Gemini <laughs> treat. My son used to hand me the birthday gift, like five, the minute he bought it, he'd be like, you have to open it now. I'm like, but my birthday's, no, no, you have to open, open it, it now. now. Gemini, uh, look at that. She I had know, to tell you. I know. Go ahead. Okay, it's at ACP Home Interiors, which is Stephanie and Bernard's store. Um, they have one in Delray and Boynton, uh, oh, excuse me, Delray and Boca. We I haven't I haven't gone through all the details yet yesterday uh, yet with them but so I don't know if it's at the Delray store or the Boca store we have to figure that out um, but yeah can so, we vote for Delray <laughs> just throwing it out there well actually the yeah but the Delray store is here the, the Boca store is not that much farther right and it's yeah it's okay. like right off the interstate so well, I think either one would work do you feel better now I feel better. I know. I feel like a weight's been lifted off of me. She couldn't Stephanie's do like, it. Stephanie's like, great. She couldn't She's do like, it. She's like, you gave it all away. Oh my yeah. gosh. All right. So make sure you stay tuned. I will be sending out um, an email. So if you want to sign up on our email list about all the details on that, how you can get involved. Um, also, uh, when gonna it's going to be, guests. where it's going to be. I think we're going to have live guests. I just have to make sure that's okay with Stephanie and Bernard first. Like I said, we haven't gone through all the details quite okay. yet. Um, and she's hysterical. <laughs> yeah. And then um, we are, uh, so make sure you sign up for our, uh, our newsletter, which is uh, WYFWTY.com. Mm, and that's where you get all of the information. Um, also, don't forget, we're on podcasts, we're on YouTube, so go subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. When we do do the show, when we do do the show in two weeks, um, it will be live. So it will be live here on Facebook, it will be live on our YouTube channel, yeah. and um, so make sure you go subscribe and support us on YouTube there because we can start to get ads yes. on YouTube and, you and support ourselves. Right. All which right. Which would be nice. Which would be nice. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, yep. and we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Take care of yourself. Yes, please. And Don't do your the small do stuff. your boundary meme. <laughs> boundaries, 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 I'm boundaries. So getting that made. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Michelle says she'll follow and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. So.